Welcome to Time Capsule Tales, the podcast where we dig up lesser-known stories from history's archives and bring them to you in easily digestible episodes. I'm Chase, your host, and together we'll travel through time, revealing intriguing tales and captivating narratives that have played a role in shaping our world. Today, we'll journey back to the dark days of World War I, so sit back, get comfortable, and join us as we dive into yet another enthralling account from the pages of history. Amidst the chaos and cries of battle in World War I, a group of valiant men emerged, defying the odds and shattering barriers. They were the Harlem Hellfighters, the 369th Infantry Regiment, an all-black unit whose story is a tapestry of determination, bravery, and resilience. Before we dive into their incredible journey, let's set the stage by understanding the broader context of racial relations and the role of African Americans in the military at that time. Prior to World War I, African Americans had limited opportunities to serve in the military, with many roles restricted to labor and support positions. Additionally, racial segregation and discrimination were widespread in the United States, both in civilian life and the military. The Harlem Hellfighter story is set against this backdrop, making their accomplishments even more remarkable and demonstrating their resilience in the face of adversity. Hailing from the vibrant streets of Harlem, New York City, these African-American soldiers faced racism and discrimination. But despite the obstacles, they stood tall, proud, and ready to serve their country with unwavering resolve. Having endured the racism running rampant through the country, the Hellfighters were still determined to serve their country with unwavering resolve. Let's follow them as they embark on their journey to France, where they headed to fight on the blood-soaked battlefields. They crossed the vast Atlantic, and once they arrived, they made history as the first African-American regiment to fight alongside American forces overseas. Clad in French helmets and armed with rifles, they quickly earned the respect of their French allies and struck fear into the hearts of their enemies. In France, the Hellfighters would go on to demonstrate their bravery and skill in some of the fiercest battles of the war, including the Meuse-Argonne Offensive, the largest American military operation of the war. Through mud and blood, they held the line for an astonishing 191 days, never yielding an inch of ground or losing a single man to capture. The Hellfighters faced seemingly insurmountable odds, but their spirit remained unbroken. In the trenches, they forged a bond that could not be severed, a brotherhood that would stand the test of time. Their courage and determination did not go unnoticed, earning them a special nickname from their French allies. The French soldiers, recognizing their unwavering courage and determination, bestowed upon them the nickname Men of Bronze, a testament to their indomitable spirit and an everlasting tribute to their incredible bravery. As the sun set on the battlefields, the Harlem Hellfighters stood defiantly, their legacy etched in the annals of history, a beacon of hope for generations to come. The story of the Harlem Hellfighters is not just a tale of a group of brave soldiers who fought for their country, it's a story of the impact they had on the world both during and after their time in the war. The Hellfighters' impact extended beyond the battlefield, particularly in the realm of music and culture. James Reese Europe, the Hellfighters' band leader, was a visionary who saw the potential for jazz music to break down cultural barriers. He knew that music was a language that could be understood by all, regardless of race or nationality. And he was right. The Hellfighters' performances in France were met with enthusiastic audiences who were captivated by their music and the energy they brought to the stage. They are largely recognized as a major reason that jazz music became popular in France. Their success was not just limited to the world of music. The Hellfighters were also trailblazers in the military. They were among the first African-American soldiers to be allowed to fight in combat alongside their white counterparts, and they proved their worth on the battlefield earning the respect and admiration of their fellow soldiers. However, despite their successes and sacrifices, the Hellfighters faced new challenges upon their return to the United States. Despite their bravery and sacrifice, they were still met with discrimination and prejudice in their own country. Their achievements were often overlooked, and their contributions were not fully recognized until many years later. One particularly egregious example of racism faced by the Hellfighters upon their return from World War I occurred during a tour of the Northeast and Midwest with the Hellfighter Band. James Reese Europe, the band's leader, was stabbed to death by the band's own drummer after a concert in Boston. Despite Europe's contributions to the war effort and his success in leading the band, 
he was still the victim of a racist attack upon his return home. Noble Sissel, a fellow band member, continued to carry on the band's legacy as a songwriter and vocalist, co-writing the musical Shuffle Along with U.B. Blake in 1921. Despite the success of the Hellfighter Band and its members, their experiences demonstrate the deep-seated racism and prejudice that existed in American society during this time period. Yet their legacy lives on. Their story serves as a symbol of the incredible contributions of African-American soldiers, not just in the military, but in all aspects of American society. The Harlem Hellfighters were pioneers of culture, warriors for their country, and advocates for equality. Their story is one of bravery, sacrifice, and resilience, and it will continue to inspire generations of Americans to come. As we conclude our exploration of the Harlem Hellfighters' incredible story, let's remember that their fight for equality, their sacrifices, and their cultural impact are still relevant today. To honor their legacy and learn more about their contributions, we encourage you to dive deeper into their history. By delving into their stories, we not only honor the Harlem Hellfighters and the many others like them, but also continue their legacy of striving for a fairer society. Let us remain vigilant to not repeat the mistakes of our ancestors. As we close this episode of Time Capsule Tales, I'm your host Chase, reminding you that history is filled with incredible stories just waiting to be discovered. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the Harlem Hellfighters, and that it's inspired you to continue exploring the lesser-known tales of our past. If you've enjoyed this episode, please take a moment to subscribe or leave us a rating. Your support helps us continue to bring you fascinating stories from the annals of history in a bite-sized format. Next week, we'll delve into the harrowing tale of the Donner Party, an infamous chapter in American history marked by desperation, survival, and tragedy. Join us as we uncover the events that led to their ill-fated journey and the incredible story of endurance against all odds. You won't want to miss it. Until then, keep unearthing the stories that make our history so rich and diverse. Thank you for joining us on Time Capsule Tales, and we'll see you next week.